dear students in this lecture video we studied about the unit commitment solution methods there are two types of solution methods is used for solving the unit commitment problem one is superiority list method another one is dynamic programming method the third one is lagrange method but in your syllabus a superiority list method and dynamic programming method two methods are included in your syllabus okay uh, in this lecture video we studied about only the superiority list method in the next video we studied about the dynamic programming method okay under this topic how the question will come in vd university question paper that mean explain the superiority list method with example okay without example if you written also they won't give full mark so the minimum is 4 mark maximum is 6 mark okay students the unit commitment solution method the unit commitment problem can be very difficult uh, as a theoretical exercise let us postulate the following situation the first one is we must establish a loading pattern of uh, m periods that is the period is m period and then n units to commit our load demand and dispatch the load to the consumer so the m load levels and the operating limits on the n units are such that any one unit can supply the individual load and the combination of the units can supply the demand then now you see the what is the total number of combinations calculated by the n number of units the total number of combinations the formula is c n comma 1 plus c n comma 2 plus and then goes an increase and then c n comma n minus 1 plus c n comma n finally the formula is 2 power n minus 1 where the capital n is the number of units where c into n comma j is the combination of n terms taken j at a time only that means the c into n comma j the formula is n factorial divided by n minus j factorial into j factorial where j factorial is equal to 1 multi 1 into 2 into 3 into up to j only this is the formula for calculating the total number of combinations okay now uh, you see in the tabular column then the total period of m intervals the maximum number of possible combination is 2 uh, that means power n minus 1 the whole power m only so therefore the 24 hour period and then the unit that means the uh, number of units first 5 10 then 20 and then 40 units the how to we calculate the combination 2 power n minus 1 power 24 now see if the 5 means 2 power 5 minus 1 the whole power 24 that is equal to 6.2 into 10 to the power 3 5 similarly 2 power 10 minus 1 the whole power 24 the answer is 1.73 into 10 to the power 72 similarly 2 power 20 minus 1 the whole power 24 is nothing but 3.12 into 10 to the power Uh, 144. Similarly, 2 power 40 minus 1. The power 24 is is too big only. So, like that, the basic formula is 2 power capital N minus 1 into uh, that is the uh, the power is capital M only. The here M is equal to 24. Then N is equal to 5, 10, 20, 40. okay like that we have to calculate so the unit commitment is the solution method the continuation of unit commitment is solution method um, these are very large numbers or that is the upper bounds for the number of enumerations 
required the constraints on the units and the load capacity relationship of the typical utility systems are such that we do not approach these large numbers okay then what is the types of uh, unit commitment solution method first one is the priority list method okay second one is the dynamic programming method that is the dp method third one is lagrange relation that is the lr our syllabus only periodic list method and dynamic programming method only first we studied about the periodicity list method the name itself is there okay so first we prepare the periodicity list periodicity list that means this method is the simplest unit commitment solution method because it consists of creating a periodicity list of units okay in the you recall the example one the example one consists of three units okay that is unit 1 unit 2 unit 3 only the these three units together first we prepare the periodicity list based on the that means shutdown rule or periodicity list and then uh, full load average production cost okay first how to prepare the periodicity list based on the full load average production cost of each unit okay the full load average production cost is the net heat rate at full load multiplied by the fuel cost okay now what is the steps followed for periodicity list method so first example the same example only i am taking Uh, that means this example uh, is used for explaining the uh, need of unit commitment okay here the unit 1 we need only minimum maximum generation similarly unit 2 minimum maximum unit 3 minimum maximum and then fuel cost okay now how to prepare the uh, periodicity that means list the first step the first step is nothing but first calculate the full load average production cost the unit is the r slash r then you put slash divided by megawatt hour only first i am writing the unit 1 unit 2 unit 3 we can by using the formula we calculated the full load average production cost unit 1 for unit 1 9.79 9. for unit 2 9.48 9. for unit 3 11.188 only okay first step over then second step is that means we prepare the periodicity list that means the periodicity order for uh, these three units based on the full load average production cost okay so first now we prepare the periodicity order this is the periodicity order for the three units based on the full load average production cost you see uh, the previous slide that mean you can see the unit 2 only less compared to other two and then the unit 1 is the second the unit third is third so therefore now you can see the unit 1 is first this is the full load average production cost for unit 2 then the minimum generation of unit 2 is 100 megawatt from the example 400 megawatt for a maximum similarly unit 1 the full load average production cost is 9.48 and then the minimum megawatt is 150 the maximum megawatt is 600 and then the unit 3 is the full load average production cost is nothing but 11.118 minimum megawatt is that is the minimum generation is 50 megawatt the maximum generation is 200 megawatts once again i did step 1 prepare that means calculate the full load average production cost for the uh, given number of units the second one is the, you can prepare the periodicity order based on the average production cost then the step 3 in the step 3 and all then we can prepare the combinations that means uh, number of combinations that means uh, that combination only is used for meeting our load demand only now you see this here the what is the combinations the combination so this is the uh, 
periority order from this end we can prepare the combination the first combination is how to prepare mean 2 plus 1 plus 3 this is the 3 combination because first periority is 2 second periority is 1 second periority is 3, third periority is 3 so therefore the combination is 2 plus 1 plus 3 okay so then what is the 2 plus 1 plus 3 what is the minimum average uh, 100 150 and then 50 so 200 300 so 300 megawatt is the minimum generation for this combination what is the maximum generation 1200 megawatt for this combination then second combination the first periodicity 2 then second periodicity 1 so in this combination that means 2 plus 1 plus uh, 3 la we can uh, remove the 3 okay you know all the 3 units is synchronized based on the role we can shut down the unit 3 only the unit 2 and 1 is synchronized so what is the load only 100 plus 150 that is the 250 megawatt this is the minimum generation for this combination 2 plus 1 combination the maximum combination is 1000 so you see initially the load is 300 then reduced to 250 similarly the maximum generation also is reduced from 1200 to 1000 so therefore the first combination 2 plus 1 plus 1 for me tower maximum load demand is 1200 minimum load demand is 300 then next that means the load demand only 1000 so therefore the unit 3 only is shut down you know, because this is the last periodicity so the next combination the third combination only 2 only okay 2 only means minimum 100 maximum generation is 400 this is the uh, combinations so how to write first unit in your uh, unit column same unit column you write 2 plus 1 plus 3 second 2 plus 1 the third one is 2 then you can you know the cost 9.7 9.48 11.1 like this only okay cost you can remove this cost column only you write on the minimum generation maximum minimum generation 2 plus 1 plus 3 means 300 then 2 plus 1 means 250 2 means 100 similarly maximum generation for 2 plus 1 plus 3 combination 1200 and then maximum generation for 2 plus 1 combination is 1000 and then maximum generation 2 is 400 like that you make the table this is the steps 3 okay so uh, dear students for the periodicity list method explanation okay, first you have to write down the um, periodicity list method some introduction about periodicity list method uh, what is the advantages of this method and then this is easiest method only and then uh, three steps three tabular column okay this is for either four mark or six mark uh, thank you students for listening this class